It's finally here, Million Nation Season 3 is officially out. I'm going to do a quick rundown of the patch notes for you. So as mentioned in my previous video, Crypto's abilities are up on the screen. His surveillance drone has a 40 second cooldown if destroyed. His passive is a neural link to where him and his teammates can see what his drone detects up to 30 meter distance. And his ultimate is the charge EMP and it does 50 shield damage. It slows down players and destroys traps such as caustics, traps, and watch defenses. World's Edge is the only map available at the start of Season 3, but Respawn has stated that they will bring it back in the future as we're looking at data. And now for the charge rifle, it has a warm up before shooting, but will do minor damage to opponents when you keep a B on them before fully firing. As speculated, it is a map weapon. Gun charms, new music packs, legendary loaded screens, and new skydiving modes are in the battle pass and also as you level up through the battle pass you'll get more rewards as you level up and the battle pass costs 950 apex coins now for legends update all legends will have the executioner perk meaning finishers will fully recharge your shield with or without the gold armor now now for Gibraltar, his changes include players in his dome shield will heal 25 percent faster using healing items he has a 60% increased throw distance of his dome shield, but will have an increased cooldown from 20 seconds to 30 seconds. His defensive bombardment ultimate has a decreased cooldown, a decreased duration, and an increased throw distance. Next, Bloodhound has a reduced animation time for his tactical and tells how many targets he has pinged. His ultimate has an increased movement speed and has a fixed field of view scaling and reduced animation time by 30 percent now for my day one bangalore now has an increased damage for ultimate from 20 to 40 damage and also for octane his field of vision field of vision issue has been fixed also and for wraith her dimensional rift no longer deploys if you are down before placing it and lastly pathfinder's release speed of a grapple has been reduced and his zip line has an increased cooldown for the weapon and loot meta, disruptor rounds and score piece of hop ups have been removed, but increased damage of the longbow and wingman. There are two new hop ups called the anvil receiver, which gives a semi auto mode for the flat line and all 301, and a double tap trigger to give the G7 scout and the EVA 8 with a two round burst. There are less ultimate accelerants, but increased ultimate charge percentage. The gold pack backpack has a a guardian angel perk which will give down teammates additional health and shield when you revive them but your teammates must have a shield in order to get the shield percentage back to wrap up i'm going to cover the weapons the r99 has a reduced max size the prowler has a slot recoil randomness the longbow dmr has a reduced rate of fire and layer damage multiplier the g7 scout and headlock have been buffed with increased base damage the mosaic beak has a decreased pattern spread the L-Star has a reduction in horizontal recoil and comes with one times digital threat, reduced damage, and there are now four gold weapons in the arena in our world's edge. You can read the full link below in the description to read about the quality of life, the bug fixes, and the rank lead. All right, so you want to read the full all right, patch notes, you click on the link below. All right, but now for me, myself, I also got to get into season three and to provide you guys some more content, tips, and more, so make sure you like comment subscribe let me know what you think about season three and comment below all right talk to you guys later peace